this is 11. Genesis 11, 3. Genesis 11, 3. Genesis 11, 3. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime for mortar. So they're planning on building a city. Building rebellion against God is what this stands for. Oftentimes, we, the world wants us to build ourselves up against God. And the world does build their stuff up. But what are we being built for? Are we building being built for God's glory? Or are we building, being built for something else? Okay. First Samuel. First uh, Samuel nine I didn't mark it again. Fun. I believe it's one through three. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Page. Nine, one, and two. Okay. First Samuel nine, one, and two. Okay. First Samuel nine one and two. If I can get there. There we go. First Samuel nine. Oh. Yeah. Almost there. Nine, one, and two, finally. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, son of Abeliah, El Abel, son of Zeor, son of Bacara, son of Abaniah, a Benjaminite, a mighty man of power. Now a mighty man of power. Oftentimes this is a characteristic of godliness, a characteristic of of being devoted to God, I believe. Because um, we see David's mighty men of valor. This refers to soldiers, particularly. Um, this may not refer to him being, seeking God, but I believe it did based off that reference to David's men, mighty men. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice and goodly young man and so he was ideal look is what that means um if they were to pick a king he'd look like Saul if we were to choose somebody in leadership in the world no better one looking the part than Saul Saul looked the part of a king and was not better person than he among the children of Israel. Now, again, it's talking physical, I believe. He was higher than any other people from his shoulders upward. See, this is what the world looks at. Oftentimes they look at the outward appearance. And we sometimes make that very same mistake. Where we look to the outward instead of looking on the inward looking at the person now we can't see the heart but we can see the fruit from it oftentimes God wants to just see think like he does this person's character is unfitting you know and that's how we're to determine we need to judge we need to cast out but we're to use 
godly reason in things. And godly reason would state that if Saul wasn't the best to be king, then his dynasty would be replaced after him.